so what are the recent developments? Well, the, the big news item, I think, which was embargoed until uh, Wednesday of last week, was that the center got uh, increased and extended funding significantly and increased uh, and extended. So now the, the center is a 36 million uh, center uh, with that funding for the next uh, five years. And so I always am very grateful to acknowledge the support of Enterprise Ireland and the IDA in funding the centre. So we're the, the National Centre for uh, Applied AI, and the applied part is, is very important. So we don't do academic research. Our focus is on taking the possible and making it real. So taking the results of cutting edge uh, research and actually delivering commercial products uh, at the end of it. So. Uh, a few updates then, sticking to the, the title of the presentation. Um, so the, the centre this year was uh, designated the European Union's Digital Innovation Hub for AI in, in Ireland. And the Digital Innovation Hub is, is part of this new initiative from what used to be called Horizon 2020 and is now Horizon Europe to really strengthen and support Europe's thrust and move in, in AI. Uh, to, to catch up with uh, the, the states and, and China. And these digital innovation hubs will be very much a cornerstone of that. The other thing to update you on as well, and we're delighted uh, to, to announce this as well, is that we're a co-founder of the, the Data Science Awards here in Dublin, the DATSIs, you've probably heard of them. And this year, uh, with the support of the EU and the Big Data Value Association, which is a public-private partnership with industry in Europe, supported by the EU. Uh, the awards became Europe-wide, and now they are the European Data Science and, and AI awards, awards. So that's fantastic recognition for all the work that's being done here uh, in Ireland. And at the, the recent awards in, in Croke Park, Irish companies won 50% of the awards. The, the other 50% were to uh, companies around Europe. So just a little bit about the centre before we introduce our, our speakers. So the centre uh, has got over 82 uh, member companies, and we, we, we work on a membership basis. So 40% of those are the multinationals. The rest would be Irish uh, SMEs. So the centre is very much what we call market-led. So we focus on actually delivering tangible value and competitive advantage for our member companies by taking the, the recently possible and uh, developing commercial offerings for that. So CEDA, I'm always asked, where, where does CEDA sit in this very, very complex landscape that exists in Ireland today in terms of all these different research centres practically covering every human endeavour? So the way I like to position it is that if you look at this spectrum where you have fundamental basic research, curiosity-led research on, on one hand, and on, the, and on the other hand, you've got business and industry, which are there with the whole purpose of staying in business, generating profits, revenue, new products, commercializations. There has always been this gap between the two. And CEDAR is this iconographic bridge which sits between those two worlds. So we work from technology readiness level three up to TRL level nine. So that's actual commercial uh, products. So what, what does CEDAR provide? advisory service, so we're a neutral independent player, so companies will come to us and ask for advice in terms of technology and strategy directions, and they can rely on us to be unbiased in our, in our assessments. We develop bespoke solutions for companies, and we also have one of our, I think, great strengths is this demonstrator program, so we've got over 50 of these demonstrators, which are all freely available to, to try out, uh, and these are all cutting-edge technologies that we've made, hopefully, simple to use, so we can set them up with you in your company and you can pump your data through it, and hopefully, in a couple of hours' time, start to get insights from the data. So it allows you to use the absolute cutting-edge techniques without having to take the financial risk or the technological risk of actually developing them. Um, so we run a series of business seminars every month, very much focused on case studies of, uh, of AI and analytics and, and industry. Our workshop series is, is very popular with companies. We have training and postgraduate uh, apprenticeships uh, as well. These are funded by Enterprise Ireland, 70% funded, so the companies get a master's degree in analytics under our supervision. Uh, 
30% of the cost for, for a year. We help companies on their journey for analytics and AI. Some, are, some companies are further down the journey than, than others are, and companies will sometimes be sitting on a lot of data and not know the, the first thing to, to do to actually extract the value from it, and that's, that's where we can help. And we're heavily involved in uh, bringing our companies into European consortia um, as well to take advantage of that billion euro, or sorry, 100 billion euro pot of funding and business to business brokerage between our ecosystems. So it's very much a vibrant, self sustaining ecosystem of, of companies. So have a look at our website, outputs our demos. You'll see all the, these uh, demonstrators, these ones that I said are, are free to try out. Everything from the latest in machine learning, deep learning to video and image analytics contact center analytics, real-time analytics, blockchain, you, you name it. I'm sure we have a, a demonstrator for it. And so just a little look into the future. This is my last slide. Uh, there's a few funding opportunities available out there at the moment I just wanted to very quickly bring to your attention. The, the first one are the so-called Marie Curie co-funded fellows. It's, if you go onto the career section of our website, you'll see it. This costs companies absolutely zero, and I mean zero cost, but it, each of them is worth uh, a quarter of a million. We have 11 of these so-called Marie Curie fellows to date in the center. So they work two years with us, one year with the company, usually two days a week. And our, one of our speakers, Paul, is actually on this, this program, so you can talk to him about it afterwards. There's the Work Ready Graduate Program, if you're looking to have a, an intern working with you who already has a master's degree in analytics or AI and is more interested in be developing his or her practitioner skills, then we're running this program. We'll have 10 of these. And the last thing to say is innovation partnerships. So these are funded to the tune of 80% by the state. It, it funds a lot of the work we do, as you can imagine, uh, because again, it's financially de-risked and it's a, a very successful thing. And there's an open call for these innovation partnerships. And you can talk to any of the speakers who are all from CEDA uh, after. So. Um, so we have four uh, speakers from um, CEDA, and so the, the first one up is um, our principal data scientist, uh, Oshin uh, Boydell, who will be talking to us about reinforcement learning. So I'll hand over to Oshin now.